Hey, it's Abdullah. So I wanted to create a video about the cinema mode and do a comparison between the Nokia 5.4 and the Nokia 8.3. And you know, I've had a lot of complaints about the cinema mode on the 5.4, mainly the autofocus in the video, which was so unreliable and so jumpy. And luckily for you guys, and unluckily for me, Nokia Mobile actually released an update that fixes the autofocus in video specifically. But anyways, things are still not perfect on the 5.4 and I wanted to create this video to talk about some of the other issues that I faced and specifically in the camera experience. For a start, I wanted to test out if they've actually fixed the video focus issues or not. So I'm going to be posting two samples for you guys to see. Uh, one before the update and one after and you know as you're going to be seeing the update definitely fixes the issue where the transition with the autofocus is a lot more smoother now and before it was just so jumpy that you know it's almost like jumping to catch focus which really got on my nerves and I've mentioned that a couple of times because it meant that you could never get like a very smooth looking footage but thankfully that is actually fixed. So good job, Nokia Mobile. Now, as for the biggest complaint that I currently have against this phone's video capabilities is how it handles low light video. So this isn't just a complaint that I think is on the Nokia 5.4 specifically, but it also is the same situation on the more expensive Nokia 8.3. And that's how well the phone handles noise in low light situations. And that is to say that it's quite bad, honestly. So, you know, in other phones, usually if something is quite dark, the phone will either show it to you in pitch black, which saves it time and processing. So it just gives up, which looks okay. And then there are other phones that try to actually capture details in the shadows. And they do a really good job because they manage to balance between the ISO and the shutter speed and the exposure. Sadly, with the Nokia devices these days, the phones just don't know what to do with all that noise. And you almost feel like there's no algorithm that's trying to tackle the noise. So the video footage in low light situations or even in the shadows ends up looking really, really bad. This for me, as a person who likes to create video and wants to use his phones to shoot most of his video footage, really limits the use case situation where a Nokia device would be very useful for me. So if you want to see how much better it can get with a bit of software optimization, I highly recommend downloading open camera on a device like this or the 8.3 and then just managing to set a fixed ISO and capture low light video. You'll notice a night and day difference compared to the stock experience with how well the phone actually manages to handle noise. I really hope that Nokia Mobile manages to address this in an update because as I said, it's really strictly software. The other thing I wanted to talk about is that both of these phones capture log format. They call it H-Log. And even though I really appreciate having this feature as it gives me more control as a content creator to edit the video later on to get the tone that I like, it also has a negative aspect to it. And that's that it's recording the log format in 8-bit color production, which limits how much color is being captured and also limits your ability to edit video later on. At this stage, I would hope that they would adopt the much better 10-bit standard, which would definitely help improve the quality and also help extract more details from the video and give proper color grading. The final aspect that I think needs a bit of working on is with also audio on this and the 8.3. I just feel like the phone captures a bit too much outside noise and doesn't manage to sort of differentiate well enough voice versus external noise. So it captures a lot of sound, which is really good. But it also means that the uh, footage that you capture has a bit too much noise that you don't want included in your video.
This is a much smaller issue for me personally because I always use an external microphone when I want to capture a video, but it would definitely help make the phone a much more capable video shooter in the future. So the goal of this video isn't to just talk about the negative aspects of this phone, it's sort of to have a conversation with Nokia Mobile because I think they're listening and hopefully they'll be able to address some of the issues that we're facing so that we end up with better products that receive updates that fixes the issues that we're dealing with. And I think for us as consumers, you know, this will definitely be a huge win, especially if they are indeed listening. As for the update, I honestly really appreciate that it addresses a lot of our concerns. So that's definitely a step in the right direction in order to achieve better communication with the fans and give us better products. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Nokia 5.4. How's your experience been if you've owned the device? And if you haven't, why haven't you decided to buy this phone yet? So let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next one.